Good morning, Mom. What are we going to be doing today? We're going to make Grandma Nelson's cardamom seed buns. Excellent. And how long is this process going to take? Well, I would say at least three hours, three or four hours. Okay. You got everything ready to go? Everything's ready to go. Okay. Is that the recipe in front of you? Yes, I well, do. Let's take a look at it. There it is, written. Is that your handwriting? Yes. Okay. And, and you, did you write that in the last... Uh, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, or 40 years? Uh, I can't remember now when I wrote it, but I think I wrote it when my mother was still living. So it's Grand been at least 20 years, 25 years? Yeah, when Graham Nelson was still living. Very good, excellent. Well, let's get started. Okay. What are you going to do first? We're going to get the milk sub uh, ready. Okay, let's go. <laughs> How many years have you been making these cardamom seed buns, Mom? Well, ever since I was first married. When I got back to Ishpeming, not, not when I lived in Detroit, but when I got back to Ishpeming, I started making them. When, when you kids were small. And how long did it take for you to develop the uh, technique to really make them well? Could you make them well right well, away or did it take a long I time? I followed Mom's uh, recipe. They're usually okay, but for years I forgot the eggs, but they still turned out okay. <laughs> <laughs> but now, now I'll remember the eggs every time because Auntie June told me that I should have had eggs in it. usually help mom when she makes her bun? No, I told her to stay out of her kitchen when she's doing it. Stay clear, huh? Stay clear. She's got to have a free day. Right? <laughs> she's around me around. Yeah. Oh. Don't worry, there's plenty other jobs to do. Okay. How about a tablespoon? Oh, I got too many there. Huh, they come in those when pods the, like that? The cardamom seed is inside of the little pods. <laughs> then I look to see if it's grown enough. Huh? And it should be a little bit finer. Okay. This is the best flower to use. Go metal, ble unbleached. Or you can use Pillsbury unbleached. As long as the flower is unbleached, that's the important part. Away we go with the rolls. Beat them up good. I want them to raise real good today. <laughs> Make the best ones you've ever made. Yeah, I hope so. That's the sponge. A, that's about as high as it'll go before it'll flop. And as long as it's got bubbles, you know okay. it's ready. Okay. Then we add that to the milk.
think this is going to do it because I don't want it to get hard. I want it to be soft. Taking a piece off and you kind of have to guess. But you don't want to take too much because I want to make long rolls. So then I roll it on the board. So then you take a piece and you roll it out in a long string. And according to the length of the string is how long the bun will be because you're gonna you're going to twist it. So then you go like this and you twist it like that and then you put half of it for half of the pan then you make two two rolls like that. Let's review Grandma James's technique. Yeah. Grandma Nelson, too, your great grandmother. And remember, not too much flour on that board, right? No, you can't have hardly anything. There, little sweetie. Why do you have to roll that? Grandma is making, kids used to call it snakes. I'm making snakes, and then I, then I curl them up. Then I twist them, see, like that. What do you think of that? Mommy. Ooh. <laughs> They're made out of food, right? Out of dough, yes. Now, we will put it over in the oven a minute. Okay. Let me see. Okay. We're going to put it in the oven, and then we're going to let it rise. We're going to let it rise. They're going to taste good. And then, in about 20 minutes to a half hour, we'll take them out. And then, then we'll bake them. Okay. Are we ready to pop them in the oven? We're ready to pop them in the oven, Mark. Wish us luck now. They look good, don't they? Okay, what do they look like? Here we are with the first pan, Mark. Mmm, we'll looks butter. delicious. Looks so we'll butter it up. Yeah. One for Mark to eat. Very good. Looks good. Yum. Delicious. Look at that. A work of art. Yeah. They look good. Mmm. Worked hard on it. Look at that. You sure did. Now you're going to have a taste. Okay. Well, here we are with the final product, and it looks delicious, Mom. Thank you so much. I'm going to try one right now. You're welcome. Here we go. Mmm. Like cotton then? Oh, they're beautiful. Yes. The wonderful carbon seed buns that only Mom can make. On uh, Thanksgiving Day. On Thanksgiving Day 2003. 2003. Now it's your turn to try making them. And uh, from uh, Irene James' kitchen. I want to say thank you, uh, happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving, and uh, enjoy those buns. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.